In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create parsing rules for XML-based source files. Parsing is the term used to describe how a localization tool reads in a source file and only shows the translatable text to the user, leaving the rest of the file, the code, untouched. In Catalyst, the parsing rules are defined in Tools menu Options Easy Parse. Most file types supported in Catalyst do not require to create custom rules to insert them in a project. The defined rules are categorized into file groups, based on their nature or syntax. For instance, the first group is the resource files, also known as executables. To the right, the file extension list shows all the file extensions associated with resource files. This means that when inserting any file with one of those extensions, Catalyst will use the resource files parsing rules. Each file group uses its own suitable parsing rules, which do not need any editing because the syntax found within is a defined set, which Catalyst can expect. However, with XML base files, you need to define specific rules. This is because the syntax found within an XML-based file cannot be predicted. Its elements and attributes names can be anything. When clicking on the XML-based file group, additional interface appears below. It is the list of save rules for the selected file extension. Scrolling down to the XML file extension, there are six rules available by default. Let's look at our sampled XML file. It is an XML base file which contains a number of elements and attributes with various names. Using an editor such as Notepad++ here, we can visualize easily the elements and attributes with their blue and red colors respectively. Back in Catalyst. To create rules for this syntax, Click the Add button. Let's call this rule my first XML rule. Now, with it highlighted, click the Edit Method button. Let's maximize the window to see it better. First, we load the template file. The template file is the XML file we want to use as our base for the rules we are creating. Catalyst reads this file and lists out all the elements and attribute found within. This list is sorted in the order they were read in the template file. Catalyst also automatically adds the template file in the preview field. Click the preview button to display the XML file as you see it in a web browser such as Microsoft Internet Explorer. The elements and attributes are colored red while the block text is colored in black. This makes it easy to read and decide what is localizable. The right hand side will show the expected parse text as we create a rule. At the moment it shows nothing because we have nothing highlighted in the XML element list. Defining XML parsing rules consists of selecting the elements and attributes which need to be translated. In this sample, the first element we need to localize is the title element. To mark this element as localizable in our rule, we simply locate it in the list and double click on it. XML elements turn turquoise when they're selected. Click Preview to see the results of our selection. Three strings are now listed. Let's continue to review the elements we need to translate and mark them. Author, Binding, Keywords, and Peabody text block should be translated so we double click each to add them to our rule. Author, binding, keywords, P 
Peabody text block. Click Preview to refresh our expected string list. It's now getting a lot longer. The markup column shows the XML hierarchy, making it easier to review the results of the selected markup. Looking closely at the text within the P body text block element, we can see some text is missing. The string it combines secure editing environment for is followed by based applications and website advanced, clearly missing some text. Looking back at the raw XML file, the text within the bold tag is the text missing. This is because we need to treat this tag as an inline tag. An inline tag is a tag which should be treated as part of the translatable text and not the delimiter of the text translatable. We can mark the bold tag as an inline tag by clicking the tick box in the inline tag column. Note it automatically selects the tag in the list as translatable, with its color changed to turquoise. We should also mark the italic tag as inline. Click the inline tag checkbox. Now click preview to review the results. The sentence is now uninterrupted and includes the text found within the bold and italic inline tags. The paragraph parsed in the Peabody text block element is divided into three sentences. This is because, by default, Catalyst uses segmentation on all XML-based files. Segmentation divides a paragraph into smaller sentences. This division is based on the punctuation or syntax found within the paragraph. For example, a standard full stop followed by a space and a capital block letter will clearly represent a new sentence, so segmentation is applied here. Segmentation can be turned off or configured within Tools menu, Options, Segmentation. Select Paragraph-based parsing to turn off segmentation or modify the delimiters and exceptions as needed. Generally, you'll find the standard segmentation rules are suitable without additional configuration, but it can be optimized here. Your segmentation settings should be decided upon before you start your localization project, as changing segmentation rules in the middle of your project can greatly affect the reuse of your existing translations. Back to our XML rule. There are more pieces of text which should be translated. Those are found in attributes. In the book element, which does not have any text for translation, there is an attribute in stock which should be translated. And in the binding element, which we already selected as translatable, there is an attribute type which should also be translated. Double click the attributes in the list to mark them localizable. Selected attributes turn yellow once selected. Click Preview to refresh the string list one more time. Our rule is complete. We have seen how creating an XML parsing rule is as simple as double-clicking elements and attributes we need translated, and ticking any inline tags as such. Click OK to exit the editing of the parsing rules and click OK to save the parsing rules. We are now ready to insert a file in a Catalyst project. Start a new project and right-click the project title to insert a file. Select the XML based file. Select the template file. This triggers Catalyst to prompt for the rule to use because we have more than one rule created for the XML file extension. Select the rule we just created and click OK. Here is our file parsed and ready for translation. Remember the segments 
which contains the bold and italic inline tags, let's review how this looks once inserted in our project. Click the segment in the string list. In the translator toolbar, those inline tags are visible and editable within the translatable text. If you wish to see the inline tags in the string list above, go to Tools Options, Application, and tick the Display Inline Tags in String View option. The inline tags are now visible in the string list view.